Good evening. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. At the beginning of this conference, I challenged the delegates to develop an outcome document and more importantly, outcome action plans to sustain achieved gains of the MDGs and for those MDGs most lagging behind. Through dialogue, using our knowledge, skill, and will, we achieve these tasks without allowing the perfect to be the enemy of the good. Now I exhort all delegates to urgently and appropriately transmit our collective recommendations to your country governments for inclusion in the MDG Summit to be held in New York September 20th to the 22nd. In addition, the conference participants overwhelmingly agreed to support a two-year moratorium on debt repayment for Pakistan, which is suffering from a national disaster of epic proportions. Now as we approach the end of the conference, keeping in mind that the work is just beginning, it is time for me to express my thanks to all the people who have helped me make this a successful conference. I begin in New York with Mr. Akasaka, Under Secretary General of Communications and Public Information, Eric Fault, and please stand, Director of Outreach Division, and he is the officer in charge of News and Media Division who will soon take on new responsibilities at UNESCO in Paris. To my colleague, Maria Luisa Chavez, please stand up, Maria Luisa, so we can salute you. My planning co-chair and chief of DPI Relations, UN headquarters in New York, as well as the other members of the cluster. Saul Oka, Saul. <laughs> Saul has been with us for many years, and this is her last conference because she will be retiring in a few weeks. So our very best to you. Gail, who we all see all the time with the media, our sincere thank you. And Ihor, who is really a rock star, he's known by his first name only. Ihor Dolaboha. Thank you, Ihor. Gaynor Shore, who's sitting here in the front, representative of the Australian government to the planning committee. And now I would ask all the members of the planning committee, both in Australia and the United States, to please stand. And to our Australian convener, Professor Batterham without whose help this conference would have never taken place. Thank you so much, Phil. And I would also like to salute the volunteers and rapporteurs, the young people in this conference. Thank you very much. And thank you to the delegates from 70 countries for their participation, enthusiasm, and commitment to the people they serve and have so well represented at this conference. To the people and government of Australia, the state of Victoria, and the city of Melbourne for their warm welcome and hosting the 63rd annual United Nations DPI NGO conference. Now it is my honor and last official responsibility 
as chair of this conference to present the conference declaration first to Mr. Akasaka to present to the Secretary General of the United Nations on our behalf. Mr. Akasaka. And next to Professor Phil Batterham to present for us to the Australian government. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. And now I'd like to share a little bit of my own culture with you. And it's called an Irish blessing. So may the road rise to greet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the rain fall softly on your land, and until we meet again, may the good Lord hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you so much.